Welcome, Elfenom is a TCL20 5G and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of this phone. And when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with this screen right over here. So start off by choosing your language, which I'll be sticking with English anyway. And from there select start, which brings you to the next page where you can insert your SIM card. Now this step is completely optional and you don't have to do it right now. You can do it later or never depending on how you like it. So I'll be skipping it for now. And then on the next page it brings us to the Wi-Fi connection, so here it will show you all the Wi-Fi's that you can connect to. And again you have a choice to connect to it or not. Now if you chose to not connect to any kind of network, so that would include Wi-Fi nor the SIM card, um, then you will not have the option to log into your Google account throughout the setup. And additionally, date and time will probably be set incorrectly, so you can fix it up yourself. And we have some Google services who have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, if you don't like any of them, you can disable them. If you're not sure where it is, you can tap on the arrow, expand it, and read what this option does. From there, go all the way down and select Accept, which brings you to the next page, which is protecting your device. Now, by default, it opts into a fingerprint at the beginning, so it basically tells you, hey, add a fingerprint. And if you choose to do so, it automatically also forces you to add a screen lock. Now, by default, it defaults into a four-digit PIN. So if you want the PIN, stick with it. But if you want to change the unlocking method, you can select right here. And you have also a choice between pattern and password. So I'll select a pattern. So let's draw it. Select next and redraw it once more. And once you select confirm, this will automatically set it up. Now, then it progresses further to this, uh, the fingerprint so you can add it if you want to or you can actually go back and simply select skip now which will keep the uh, screen like that I have set but will not set up any kind of fingerprint now it also asks you if you want to add a face ID so you can unlock your device with the face uh, but I'm gonna skip it as well then choose your dominant hand self-explanatory um, right-handed then we have next vision, which is uh, TCL's kind of image improvement things, which basically what it does is brings up the brightness, uh, and makes the shadows a little bit less dark and also boosts up the saturation a little bit. So if there is something that you want, if this image looks compelling to you, then stick with it. If you don't, if you don't care, again, you don't have to change anything. But if you prefer the darker ones, then you can disable this. Now next page we have home screen. So here we have a choice between two different home screens and the typical Android one, which is the home screen with app drawer. And then below that we have the more of a iOS experience with all the applications on your home screen. So choose which one you want and then select next, which will bring you to almost uh, finishing up the setup. So once you select finish, it will also bring you this user experience program. So I'm gonna skip this and terms and condition from TCL. So by obviously selecting finish, we are agreeing to them. Select allow so the launcher can actually access everything. And there we go. As you can see, the device is now set up. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.